So for this project, I started with a 10 by 20 canvas. I picked them up at Michael's for $12.99. I think they come in a set of five. So it's a really good price. I painted it with gesso and then I painted it green. And there's a YouTube site that I was able to download a picture of Santa. There's a YouTube site and the lady's name are the same and her name is Tracy Kierman. K-I-E-R-M-A-N, and she does a wonderful tutorial on how to paint the Santa, and also there is a free download. So I downloaded the Santa, I printed them out on three pieces of paper, I cut them out, I put them on my board, and I traced them out with regular kid's chalk. Then I painted his hat red, and I painted the other areas white. And as you can probably tell, it needed many coats. I printed out the finished picture of Santa for a reference and I set it beside my painting. Then I took a pencil and I drew out where his mustache would go and where his face would go and then I filled it in with flesh tone latex paint. Then I took some pink paint and mixed it with the flesh color paint and gave him a big pink nose and two big pink cheeks. Then I took black latex paint and gave them two oval eyes and put a little white dot in the middle of each of them and that brought them to life. Next, I took white acrylic paint and mixed it with something called molding paste. The brand name is Golden and I picked this up at Michael's, but I'm sure there's different brands and you can get them at different craft shops. And this molding paste is used to mix with acrylic paint to make it thicker. So I mixed it in and it comes to the consistency of very thick pudding, I want to say. The latex paint thins it down a little bit. Um, most of the time a lot of people apply this with a palette knife, they call it, but I just use a, a great big brush. I found that that worked best for what I'm doing here. So next I just start applying it and I try to apply it in the direction that normal hair would go like the mustache would go sideways and the beard would kind of go down or maybe be a little curly and I add a tiny bit of black paint to put a little gray hair in Santa's uh, beard and mustache and I end up filling up in all the way over to the side where the beard is because I didn't like the way that looked over there but um, I think he turned out pretty cute. So for the hat, I was originally going to use this glass that I had from Michael's that you can dye. I was going to dye it red, but um, I used the alcohol ink red dye and another red dye that's compatible with resin, and it just didn't turn out right. And I thought it was worth mentioning so that you guys don't waste your money and try to do it. Now, I have used these dyes to dye this exact glass other colors, and it's come out beautiful, but for some reason it just would not turn red and you know you really need that bright red for that hat yes it turns out kind of purpley so what I end up using for the hat are these small little um, gem I don't know what they call them vase filler gems and what I do is I take full strength Mod Podge and put it on the hat and then I start applying the little gems one at a time and they're real pretty they're the small size they come in like small medium and large and these are the small size that I got from Michaels and every other one or every so many there's they have like a silvery gold um, metallic look to them and it's really pretty it really enhances the look of them I think at least anyway I put all of these on and next I take Mod Podge again and I put it on the other parts of the hat that I'm going to put the tube confetti on now this tube confetti can kind of be tricky because it has uh, some kind of static, and if you try to put it on with your hands, it sticks to your hands and goes everywhere you don't want it to go. So what I do is I put it in a folded piece of paper, and then that kind of, and then tip it to where I want it to go, and it puts it exactly where I want it to be for the most part. Next, I put snowflakes on with uh, some stencils that I had purchased on Amazon. I had actually purchased a whole bunch of different stencils, but boy, these little snowflakes sure work nice. <laughs> it takes seconds to put it on. Now, in my previous videos, I had painted some snowflakes on, and certainly you can do that too. Those are just as pretty. This is just a lot easier. 
So next I mix up Half Strength Mod Podge. Uh, in this little bowl, I think I put two tablespoons of Mod Podge to two tablespoons of water and mixed it up. And then I just start spooning it over everything. I spoon it over the glass. I spoon it over the tube confetti. And I let it sit for about five minutes. And then I started tipping it and brushing it around. But after the camera was turned off, I actually put more Mod Podge over the tube confetti because I really wanted that to stick because in previous projects that I've done, a lot of the tube confetti has fallen off. And boy, it really did the trick. Now don't feel like you're putting too much on. You can really saturate it and just keep on brushing it and brushing it and let it drip right off the edge. You know, you have it up on a couple little cups the um the canvas put it up on a couple little cups so that it doesn't stick to the paper that you're setting it on while it dries that tube confetti kind of gets all over the place you kind of have to push it off the stray pieces push it off the side of the canvas or pick them off with your fingers or whatever they're kind of a pain in the butt but they're really pretty <laughs> in the areas that they're supposed to be in And it really took, takes a good 24 to 48 hours to dry completely. Next, when he was all dry the next morning, doesn't he look cute? I had a brooch, a big snowflake brooch that I took the backing off and I used E6000 and glued it to his hat. And boy, did that look cute. Then I did a little touch up on his mouth and he was done. Here's Santa Claus. <laughs> he turned out real cute. And um, I think with the Mod Podge on it, it gives it a nice glossy finish and you don't have to use resin for those of you that don't wanna mess around with resin. And this is a nice uh, crushed glass alternative. This looks so pretty. And as far as the tube confetti goes, um, this is what it looks like at Dollar Tree. And I think they're getting it in right now. And uh, because of Christmas time, and it comes in all different colors. They have it in things of um, three, three different colors. And if you can't find that, I was up there the other day, and they also have this faux snow that I'm sure would work. And then there's all sorts of other confettis that you could use, you know, instead of this uh, tube confetti, although that's probably my favorite. And, um, well, I think he turned out real cute. I'll pull him up a little bit. Oh, let's give him the... Uh, smash test and the glass is on there perfectly strong and uh, the same with the tube confetti I think that second um, time that I poured the the Mod Podge the half strength Mod Podge over it really had it you can feel it it's it's stiff but yet it doesn't look like it is it really looks good so here he is up close hope you can see him okay I think he turned out real cute. Thanks for watching. See you next time.